Hey y'all, so today I'm going to show y'all how I per pluck my wigs perfectly every single time. So today I am working with Uni's hair. This is 28 inches. All the information will be linked in the description box down below. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to take my hot comb. This is the Andes hot comb and I use it on the hottest setting and I'm just hot combing the edges back just to create like a neat foundation before I actually start plucking. And then I'm using this rat tail comb and I'm going to part a little section. This is basically, basically the baby hairs. And I don't know if y'all can tell, but like right there near the part, I kind of keep like a little piece of hair right there because I kind of like how that looks. It kind of creates like a widow's peak type of look. So it just makes it look a little bit more natural to me. So I do that on both sides and then I'm just hot combing the baby hairs downward. And then I'm taking my Revlon tweezers, the best tweezers on the market, y'all. I cannot stress this enough, and they only cost like $5. So then I kind of take my hand that I'm not going to be plucking with, and as I'm plucking, I like to pull the hair backward with my opposite hand, and then I just start plucking, y'all. So I am going kind of slow. Like, I don't rush the plucking process. I just take my time with it so that I could get the best results. And as y'all can see, as I'm plucking, I'm going left to right, and as whenever I've plucked, a, like, a lot of hair, I feel like, well, not a lot, but I feel like I plucked a good amount I just take my comb and I comb that excess hair out and then I continue to pluck so I am going in like a left to right type of direction and whenever I'm plucking I'm not plucking directly at the hairline I'm plucking kind of behind it because if you pluck directly at the hairline you're gonna create like ball spots and we don't want that sis no ball spots those ball spots over here so um so then after I feel like I've plucked a good a layer on the first one I make another layer so I make another part and then I pluck behind the hairline on that as well I hope y'all saw what I just did there like I did two se separate layers um instead of just plucking like in one layer I hope that makes sense as far as when you've plucked enough y'all so whenever you start to notice the hair like thinning out you can really like start to slow down a little bit always remember that if you over pluck a wig you cannot go back like you can't add more hair but if you under pluck a wig you can always go back in and keep plucking so definitely pluck little at a time and if you're a beginner i would recommend trying the wig on after you've plucked to see if it's enough and if it's not enough then you can go back in pluck a little bit more and keep doing the same keep doing that until you feel like you've plucked enough um it's all about personal preference y'all i like my wigs to be plucked pretty moderately I don't really like the over plucked look. I'm just I'm just not a fan of it. But I also don't like for my hairline to be like too thick either because that also doesn't look natural. You just have to find like a personal preference that you like sis. Do your wigs how you want them. Forget what anybody else got to say. Do your wigs how you like to do your wigs. So like I said, I do like to do two different layers. Well, two sections on each side. So this is another section and I'm going to be plucking um, behind that section as well. So y'all see like this is how I like mine to look like I consider this like a perfectly plucked wig. I think I did my thing with this one like it's giving. <laughs> And I'm just taking my She Is Bomb wax stick. I will leave a link to this as well in the description box. And I'm just hot combing this wig down just to make it a lot easier to hot comb whenever I'm actually installing a wig and when it's on my head. So with my closure wigs, um, I like to cut the sides of my closure wigs off because it be like this little tab on the side and it just irritates my soul. So I always cut that off. I don't recommend y'all do it because it might ruin your wig and I don't want to tell y'all the wrong thing. So 
do that at your own risk but i'm not gonna make a video on how i do that because i don't want y'all to ruin y'all wigs but to install this wig i'm gonna be using my airband wonder lace adhesive spray i love this spray to use on my closures y'all i just think it holds it gives the best hold and it lasts me longer than got to be i haven't used got to be in so long like this is my favorite and i like to do two layers of this so the first layer i let dry completely and then my second layer i just go ahead and apply the lace into the spray so then i'm just taking this rat tail cone and i'm just laying the lace a little bit more kind of just laying the edges down so that it looks a lot more seamless and this is a hd lace which is my absolute favorite type of lace y'all it just melts effortlessly into your skin so right here i'm just pulling out some baby hairs if you don't like to do baby hairs you could go ahead and you can skip this step i'm not skipping my baby hairs i gotta have my baby hairs so i'm just doing a little a good amount of baby hairs not too much and then once i get a good amount i'm just hot combing them down just to get them separated from the rest of the hair And then I just go ahead and I twist them just to get them out of my face. So to lay my edges, I'm using my Olive Oil Super Hole Fixing Spray and also this edge comb. And I'm just spraying a little bit of that spray on the edge comb. And I'm just laying the edges down just to create that natural look. Like you just got a perm, like you laying your edges down with some edge control. Like anytime I do a wig, like I really try to mimic my natural hairline. So this is just to slick the edges back on the wig like I would do with my actual edges on my actual head <laughs> then i take my elastic band and i'm just gonna tie this down to melt everything in place so it can give scalp So I'm gonna go ahead and hot comb this wig down in sections. So I'm gonna do a good, like about three sections and I'm gonna take my She Is Bomb wax stick and apply that wax stick to at the top of the wig. And then I'm using my Andy's hot comb, always on the hottest setting. And I'm just hot combing this wig down and getting it as flat and form to my head as possible. I think I mentioned in my last video, but the smaller your braids are, the flatter your wigs are gonna lay. If you have big bulky braids, your wig is gonna be a lot bulkier, but if your braids are very small and just um, flat to your head, it's gonna give more, like give a flatter wig look. And I will leave the link to everything that I'm using in the description box down below. I'll be getting a lot of y'all tell me I don't be leaving the links. So I'm going to definitely start leaving the links for y'all. So after that, I'm going to go ahead and cut my baby hair. So I am using an eyebrow razor to cut my baby hairs. And um, I kind of like to cut them about the length of where my eyebrows are. Not too long, but not too short either. And then I'm gonna take my pencil flat iron and I'm just curling the baby hairs upward. This just helps to really shape them. So I am gonna be using my um, Emotions hair mousse to lay the baby hairs. And I just do a little bit of that and I try to avoid getting it on the lace because the lace isn't waterproof and mousse is definitely liquidy. So um, it will start to lift, but I'm just laying the baby hairs, y'all, going kind of in like a C motion. And today I actually wanted to do a little design on my baby hair today. So simple, something slight. So I'm gonna take my wig grip gel and i'm just doing like a little curly um right towards the front i'm just using that um the gel and that's just going to help to form that little curly part a little bit better than mousse would have I actually think I'm getting a little bit better in my baby hairs because these turned out so cute, y'all. On this one, I wanted to do um, the little curly towards the bottom 
of the baby hair so y'all are gonna see but i'm gonna yeah i'm curling it um like the end of the baby hair upward if y'all can see what i'm doing and i'm just using that um edge comb to kind of shape it into place So I did define my curls a little bit different today. So I am gonna go in with my spray bottle. I got this spray bottle from um, Sally's. It's like a continuous spray bottle. I love it so freaking much. And instead of using mousse to define these curls, I'm actually gonna be using this Argan Oil like activator cream. I will leave the link to this as well. And I'm just adding like a little small amount of y'all. I'm not going too crazy, probably like a dom amount. And then I'm taking my detangler brush and I'm just detangling the hair. And I like to define my curls in sections because it just makes it a lot easier to do in sections than just doing it completely all together. Um, and I actually think I like using the cream better than using the mousse because it helped my curls last a lot longer and they stay more defined and kind of stay in that same shape than whenever I use mousse because with mousse I find that the curls get a lot poofier but with the cream the curls more so stay defined and in place so um yeah I really like using the cream I'm actually going to start doing this a little bit more often but I'm just going to let y'all watch me define the rest of the hair hey, you make me feel Then I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me and this little fluffy brush and I'm just going to add a little bit of this to the lace so that it blends more into my skin tone. And then I'm also going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer and this slanted angle brush and I'm going to add a little bit of this to the part, not too much. This is just going to help define my part and get my part a lot straighter and just sleeker. All right, you guys, so this is the end of the video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. So I think that this wig and style turned out bomb. I love how I pluck this wig, y'all. I pluck this wig a little bit more, just a little bit more than I normally pluck my closure wigs, and I think it's giving. I, like, I'm so obsessed. Like, I think it looks so good. So this wig is in 28 inches. I'm going to stand up so y'all can see, get a little reference. And I am five foot, which I don't really think that your height necessarily has a lot to do with um, what has everything to do with how long or how short a wig looks on you. I really more so think it's your torso. So I think that when you have a shorter torso, wigs are going to look longer on you. If you're interested in purchasing this wig, I will leave the link in the description box down below. So this is Uni's hair and it's in 28 inches. All the information will be linked in the description box down below. And I really hope it was helpful. If it was, y'all don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also turn on post notifications so you can be notified anytime a young girl posts a video. And y'all yeah, definitely catch you guys in my next one.